Right. Um, so where do I begin? There it is. So before I go into anything about the film, I just want to say a big thank you to Odeon Cinema. You, um, you put me in the premiere seats in the IMAX screen and I saw the film in 3D as well. So basically I saw in every single aspect you can see in 3D, IMAX and premiere seating. So there's so much gratitude and love to the Odeon Cinema for giving me that. Thank you very much. So I didn't go to the one minute past um, 12 uh, screening for this. I actually went to the half past three in the morning one because I thought it'd be a little bit less busy, which it was. I heard that the IMAX screening for the, um, the, the one minute past 12 screen, apparently that was just like completely packed. Apparently it was very messy in there as well afterwards. And after the one minute past midnight screen as well, apparently everyone was clapping at the film. So when I went to see it at half past three in the morning, uh, there was only a hundred people in there, which was great. It wasn't a big crowd. And because I went to see the half past three screening, I managed to get some sleep beforehand as well. I went to bed at seven o'clock PM. I didn't get to sleep till about 10 o'clock because I was getting so excited about seeing this film. I literally was laying in bed for like, three hours i just couldn't sleep it's just i've been waiting two years to see this film i've been very excited about it so i only managed to get just under four hours sleep to describe it better it's kind of like that night before christmas you know when you're a kid and you're waiting for santa claus to arrive that kind of feeling if you're a star wars fan it's a proper exciting time you're like you've been waiting two years for this film you're hearing so many things about this film like how it's going to be like so different to the other ones there's gonna be so many twists and turns in this one and the hype itself just added to that excitement it's just making christmas exciting again and i must have been excited because like getting up at two o'clock in the morning i mean what kind of dickhead goes to see a film at 3 30 in the morning so i was just so i was proper excited Got up at two o'clock in the morning, really excited by driving to the cinema, excited by walking to the cinema, going to the cinema, sit down on the IMAX screen, put on the 3D glasses, the film begins. And the film begins really well. It's always exciting when that Star Wars logo comes on the screen and the opening crawl comes up. With the John Williams score, the film got off to a really good start. It was very Star Wars-y. The dialogue was really impressive. It seemed like that was quite Star Wars-y as well. And because I don't want to go into any kind of spoiler territory, I can't really say what happens. But from my point of view, I loved the first maybe like 30, 45 minutes. However, from about the halfway point of the film, right to the end, I was just so, just so disappointed. Basically, I came out of the cinema underwhelmed. I don't know if it's because of all the hype, it like got my expectations like super high, but I felt that like all through the film, it's just, it was trying to lead up to something like really, really like outstanding. So it's just gonna blow you away towards the end. And it didn't. And whereas like I felt we'd been promised with these twists and turns throughout the film, there, there really wasn't, there was one, there's one bit in the middle involving um, Supreme Leader Snoke, Kylo Ren and Rey. I can tell you this because they've been featured in the trailers all together. There's one bit that happens in this throne room which is quite surprising. But that was the only bit that really, really kind of blew me away. I'm really, I really don't know what to say about this at the moment. I really don't. And then it just got to the third act and this point in the third act that just felt like it was going to like, just going to go and just blow the whole movie away and it never happens and the movie ended on a note where it was just not like the force awakens cliffhanger on a cliff this this really hasn't set up anything really for episode nine yeah you know, i'm sitting here telling you this and i'm just like i'm trying to rack my brains for anything that really did stand out the porgs the porgs were quite funny i think comedy wise there were some really good like good lines and there's some good comedy moments between some of the characters like i say this is a spoiler free review but i mean there's not even really much to keep back from you really. I suppose I don't want to tell you anything about the plot because I think mean, it's good to go and not know what's going to happen. But last year I came out of Rogue One. I loved Rogue One. It was just like, that blew me away completely. The last year I finished, I was just sat there thinking, is that it? I spoke to someone I knew on the way out and his words to sum it up were, it was dog shit. To be honest, I think it's worth a look because like I say, my expectations might have been so high for this movie because, because of all the hype around it. All the things we've been promised, how it's going to like take things in a whole different direction. Um, there will be things in this film that people are going to be talking about for years afterwards. I didn't even see that or even what that could be. But I think if you lower your expectations, you'll probably enjoy this movie a lot more. And it might just be that I have to see it one more time to fully appreciate it. But right now, just like just after coming out of there like 45 minutes ago, I've truly no desire to go back and see it at the moment. How I'm feeling right now is probably how you feel when you just found out Santa Claus doesn't exist. It's that kind of disappointment that I'm feeling right now. So the best advice I can give 
is lower your expectations. Don't expect loads of twists and turns. Don't expect to be blown out of this world. And don't expect too many answers to some of the questions that were brought up in The Force Awakens. This is my last review of 2017. I was hoping it was gonna be a bit more upbeat. Actually, let's make it more upbeat. I'm gonna tell you all the spoilers right now. Basically, Luke Skywalker. was a good way to start the film. Ha! I do hope you enjoy if you go and see it.